effort to save millions and try to curb a projected budget shortfall, the city of Denver says it will scale back on migrant services. A big part of that will be closing four of the seven hotels that are being used to shelter migrants. This shift is expected to save the city $60 million. In the last couple of weeks, the number of migrants arriving in Denver has slowed down quite a bit. As of today, 2,300 people are in city-run shelters, and an average of 30 are arriving daily. These numbers are down from a high of nearly 5,000 people in shelters and more than 200 daily arrivals back in December and January. Your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Arenas, spoke with nonprofits who have been on the front lines of this crisis. And Jasmine, Mayor Johnston says he wants to double down on more permanent solutions. Mayor Johnston is focusing on case management, work authorization permits, and housing assistance. But this is essentially work that nonprofits have already been doing for months on end. The city of Denver is scaling back on migrant assistance. Our plan is to try to close these shelters and keep them closed. Moving forward, the city plans to continue to focus on providing case management and housing assistance to newcomers. It's a work nonprofits have been doing for over a year. It's been 14 long months, and so it means that uh, we're, we're, we're kind of seeing some result in a positive way that, you know, we're getting people housed. What the mayor or city of Denver is trying to create is a bigger support, so nonprofits are going to shelters. More navigators and volunteers are helping, but it hasn't been easy even after families receive funds for a deposit and first month's rent. It almost takes about three months for people to be a little bit more sustainable. Yoli Casa says now nonprofits are going to be following up with families to make sure they can make ends meet. A week before the rents do we say, how you doing? Have you saved enough? How is everything going? And so that way we can go ahead and say, hey, this family might need help. They're short 500. Work authorization clinics are also scheduled in the days ahead to assist 700 more people. USCIS, who actually processes these applications, is directly on site. And all of these folks have already been screened for uh, application and have received fee waivers. Now it's estimated 40 to 60 percent of people who arrive in Denver don't stay in Denver. The city is helping those folks by providing them with bus tickets to other cities. Live in Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. All right, Jasmine, thank you. And Jasmine covers what's impacting Denver neighborhoods. So if you have a story idea for her to look into, we sure hope you'll reach out through CBSColorado.com. And you can always call our tip line at 303-863-TIPS.